Hello there. Let's hope this video goes without any issues. Uh, this is my Databricks environment. It is not, it is a trial from Databricks itself. It is not uh, linked with Azure or Google or AWS. It's just purely Databricks. This is my catalog with two tables. Uh, I already have a dashboard here somewhere. Here, yeah. Uh, this data was fetched via a notebook, which we can see here. Yes. and uh, let's create an app a new app data streamlet let's see how it goes uh, then next dx Oh yes, extractor, that's it. So now, oh yes, here you can see, uh, it is just data bricks. Yes, these are the files and uh, let, let, let's wait. Let's wait until it publishes. As it, this is a very simple example, uh, it will be published shortly. So, okay, we can uh, we can try to. No, let, let's let's wait so we can see it running it will bring a sample data from databricks but i want to use my own data and there is a catch deployment come on come on come on I really would like to have this environment, but I think it's too expensive. I think. I'm not sure how much exactly. It's taking a while. But anyway. Uh, in the meantime, let's go to our dashboard. Lots and lots of data. Let's see the last year or this year, I mean. Not yet. Last year, let's check last year. Not yet. Oh, I think I will have to edit this video. It's taking too long. How do I clean this? Oh, yes. Oh. Sector communication services. The this one. Which one? Oh yes, it would be nice to have another group by here. Oh yes, nice. So let's access it. Yeah, 
as you can see it's a very basic app yes okay so now let us change it to tailor our needs uh, delete this and uh, I don't remember exactly the table path so let's check here edit and then data stocks in full uh, yes this one select and then stringed it by that x and recall why not so yeah That is is it yes this is it so now let's go to compute again let's go to the app and we have to publish is this it let me see yes this is it this is it let me delete this one delete uh, as you can see it should oh I deleted the wrong one it's fine it's fine uh, let's go back to uh, compute apps or is it still here no it isn't so yeah let's see what this is yes I deleted the wrong one anyway it's fine uh, app. oh yes I oh no 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 I deleted the right one now I have to publish it Yes, now I have to deploy it. Oh. I thought I... Yes, we have to deploy, so it takes effect. Oh, nice. Let's see. Yes, just as expected. Now, let's go to our... Where was it? workspace permissions and here we have to grant to our newly recently added great uh, grant. perfect now let's see finger crossed perfect this is so nice this is so very nice now let me show you the main idea is I only show you if it works let me go let's go back to the code no 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 not here compute apps extractor uh, yes yes and here by data bricks and Ricardo great can I deploy from here 
Anyway, let's deploy it again. Wait, what table was... Oh, yes. Let's deploy it. Deployment started. Yes, now let's update it. Great. What do we want? We want to extract the data. Let's... Nice. Now, I think this table is table agnostic, so... Uh, what's the name of that? Let's go to catalog. Workspace default combined. So compute apps extractor and uh, yeah, let's see if it works. Uh, compute apps extractor deploy yeah so now i should have i should have the main table It's taking a while because we have lots of data. No, oops. Mm, I see. Okay then, that's just too much data. Let's keep... Yes, let's keep this one. Deploy again. Uh, yep, that's it. Thank you very much. Nice. I will run further tests to see if I can download from the main 60 million table. Thanks.